Eurasian. We help wineries and, and individuals and, and groups understand how to use the internet, what the internet is. We teach about the tools, how to best utilize them. But I think what we end up coming back to most often, and the thing that I think is worth stressing at this point, is two points. First one, wine is a social lubricant. Social interaction with wine has always happened. It's happened everywhere. At the bar down the street, people are talking about your wines or your customers' wines or, or wine in general. Those conversations have been going on for a long, 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 long time. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. The fact is today that's happening in a forum where smart people with very simple tools and very little knowledge, surprisingly, sometimes um, a little bit of knowledge can be quite dangerous, but you can suck in that information, you can digest that information, you can process it, and you can learn from that information. And I think a lot of people look at this, they say, oh, you know, social media is something new. It's where we take our marketing, and we go online and we do marketing. No. <laughs> this is what's been going on ever since day one. Ever since the first, you know, honey fermented in the lamb sack, Bay, that, and we had me, people were talking about whether or not this was something worth drinking. That was social. Now we're doing it in electronic form. Back then, and even today down in the bar, there's no way to know what those people are saying. Um, today we can take that information, dig into it, see what they're saying, engage them sometimes, or simply participate um, and, and be a participant in the conversation. And the second thing, which I think is even more important, and the part that um, I sometimes have uh, difficulty with researchers trying to categorize this, is social media, because it is social, it's not one for one. So often we look in marketing, it's, I put up a billboard, my sales in that neighborhood went up 10%. Okay, billboard equals 10% increase in sales. What we have here is a problem because this is social. How many people here have bought wine based on what their friend you know, told them? I'm sure many of you have, even if they're not a wine expert. What's more interesting though for me is that you've probably sold wine that a friend recommended without ever even tasting the wine in the middle. Um, my business partner, Robert McIntosh, was reading your blog, Jamie's blog, found a wine he, he particularly thought was interesting. And he was headed to a party at somebody's house and he remembered he had written about this wine. And uh, he couldn't find it at, I think it was Ogden's, before they closed. Um, and uh, he said, oh, well they don't have it, I'll bring something else. But when he got to the dinner party, he told them about the wine he wanted to buy. He said, you know, if you can find it, it might be worth it. They called him up a week later and said, oh, we found the wine, we bought it. It was so good, we bought another case. So, did they buy wine based on social media recommendation? They have no clue. There's no way to measure that, but that happens a lot. It happens with my parents every day. They're living in the States and they call me up and my dad says, is this wine any good? And I say, well, yeah, you know, and I might know the winemaker because it's from Spain. And uh, in the end, he might buy it. Is he on Facebook looking for information? He's not going and looking for wine online. He's not researching it. Most people aren't. Nobody's going to say, I researched wine online by simply reading that their mother the other day had a nice Pinot Grigio. But they may buy that Pinot Grigio. This is happening everywhere, all the time. It's always been happening. And, you know, the thing that we try to teach people is that you don't go out there and start yelling at people and trying to get them to engage with you. You simply walk into the room, you listen to the conversation, and if it's a good conversation, you can now join it with the simple tools that exist. You can become part of that conversation where you can learn from it and leverage it to increase your brand.